Tom Ford Neroli Portofino Aqua versus Tom Ford Mandarino Diamalfi Aqua. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. It's got a little first impressions video today on two very, very fresh Tom Ford scents. I don't know if I've mentioned very much before on this channel, but I don't really like Tom Ford scents too much personally. I feel like I would like more, but they kind of scare me anything Tom Ford now. Exactly, but I'm the same way. It's the only ones I like are the, are the aqua line. The other ones are too strong where these look like I would like like Something more white, like aqua -y, more fresher is what I like. Tom Ford just kind of scares me sometimes. I'm sure if I owned them, I, you know, I, I, with time, I would appreciate them. Niche fragrances like Tom Ford uh, are very expensive and, I, you know, they're not as crowd-pleasing at first. So which one do you initially like better? Let me see here. I'll tell you what I like right now is that watch. These two are definitely my favorites from what I've smelled from Tom Ford so far. They are very, very weak in the sense that they're only going to last four hours, so you're going to pay, you know, $160 plus just to get a bottle of this stuff. It's not even gonna last four hours, and on top of that, I, would, I wouldn't wanna spray less than three or four times just because it is a very, very light scent. But what makes this scent, I mean, even worth it at all, in my opinion, is that they both transport me to kind of like a beachy atmosphere. Um, the Neroli Portofino Aqua, it's got like a you know, mandarin kind of citrusy feel, like a soapy, salty feel. I like the mandarin one. The Mandarino one is a lot, a little bit more fruity and a little bit less of this salty kind of Neroli vibe. And originally, I liked the Mandarino a little better. I showed my friend and my friend liked the Mandarino a little better. I think the Mandarino is a little bit more cloud, uh, crowd pleasing. They smell very, very good. Probably one of the best sunscreeny colognes that I've ever smelled. I'll say that right now. But obviously they do have a downfall if they, they only last four hours. And I'm not talking about four hours projection. I'm talking about four hours on your skin, that's it. So like projections maybe a half hour, 45 minutes, maybe an hour at the very, very most. So you're gonna pay $160 for four hours. So that's the big problem with this. This is probably why I wouldn't recommend these that much, you know, off the first impression. I really do like them in the sense that if I did own these, I would wear them. And it's actually got me more into Tom Ford. So um, I'll be interested to see based on these colognes. I think these are very, very good. Nice little mandarin. Just like salty, citrusy, beachy, very, very good. Um, the Tom Ford bottles are a little bland, so I do like that the, the aqua line, the bottles are frosted. Even though they are a little bit cheaper than the regular Tom Fords, and they are a step lower in concentration of perfume oils. If I had to pick any Tom Ford, I was gonna pick these, even though they don't last very long, because they smell so, so good. Smelling it, it just transports me right to the beach. And I've said that about certain colognes. Probably out of every cologne that I've ever smelled, the, just smelling these takes me right to the ocean. Just getting like a big whiff of like, just some orangey, salty, like real natural smelling. It's absolutely great. Um, these kind of are somewhat similar to Versace Porom, and Versace Porom does not smell synthetic, but there's just something about these two. So, so natural smelling. It smells like I just got a big whiff of ocean air. I'll be interested to see what you guys think about this stuff. Have you guys ever tried Tom Ford? And if you have, what's your favorite Tom Ford colognes? Those do smell a lot better than the other ones. Yeah. I I kind of wanted to do a little topic video on like what's the best niche starter fragrance because I want to start getting a little bit into niche fragrances but I don't want my spirit to be broken if I buy the wrong niche fragrance and I don't want to understand it. I've heard people say that it's worth it to save all your money up and buy one niche fragrance versus five or six designer fragrances and I almost can't believe that. I just, I just can't believe that. I think that if I were to spend $250 in designer fragrances versus, you know, one niche fragrance. I think I would like the designer fragrances more. However, I can't say that because I don't own one. So I do want to own one to see how, like, what my view is. Is a niche fragrance worth it to the average man who's going to buy five designer clones? Is it better to get one or is it better for the five designers? If you guys got any suggestions about which niche clones I should get, I'll be very interested to see down below. I can tell you that I really, really like these and if somehow these lasted, I don't know, like seven or eight hours with a couple hours projection, this is probably what I'd want to get. You can't get much better than getting transported to the beach. I've seen one fragrance reviewer saying that it has this star power in it. They do. It has this twinkle in your eye. I just like these clones. I like these fragrances. Apparently they're unisex. Um, I mean, they smell like ocean air, so 
That guy's stats unisex. The ocean air doesn't really smell manly specifically, it's just ocean air. I'll be interested to see what you guys think about the uh, Tom Ford Aqualine. I know there's one that I didn't smell. I'm pretty sure those two are the main ones, so I'll be interested to see what you guys think down below. Any feedback would be great. If you could like the video, that would be great. If you could subscribe, that would be great, but you know, no worries on that either way. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. I'll see you all in my next video. Have a great day.